versus Soul X. Uh, <laughs> Soul X is from the UCI crew, um, specifically like him, Rafi. Sorry, so it'll be Soul X, Rafi, T3 Dome, and a couple of other players. Those those two names are the first that come to my mind. And then we have Maiko. Um, you're wondering about the shirt he's wearing. He's wearing the SoCalSmash.net shirt. Pretty good time to plug in oh. the advertising for you guys if you're looking to keep up here with our region and looking to keep up with all the locals in SoCal because there's obviously so many of them. Um, there are a lot. Yeah, SoCal Smash Sunday is your number one place to keep up with all the locals, the recent tournament winnings, and the PR, upcoming events, all of that under one place. SoCal Smash Sunday bundles it up in, for you into one nice little package that you guys can actually add into your home screen if you're using iOS or Android device. How much are they paying you? Not nothing, absolutely not a dollar. How much are they paying me? Are you asking me how much they pay? Michael made the website, man. It's more about like, how much is he paying me? <laughs> no, he he, uh, he doesn't pay me anything. It's just a really great website, honestly, for a lot of players who like who are trying to get into Super Smash Brothers, who are from SoCal and they want to find their their first tournament. It can be pretty daunting. But Some what if you're not from SoCal? If you're looking to keep up from SoCal, that keep up. I'm sorry, keep up with SoCal. If you're interested in the region too, and seeing like who's good. If you're interested in being a player coming here for Congo Saga, maybe a week before, a month Sell before. Sell it, fans. Sell it. Here. You'll. It's the website. I'm telling you, it's SoCal Smash Center. What more do I need to say? I don't know. Maybe uh, drink water, be healthy, and go to college. That's all I can tell you guys. But uh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Now, those, I'm not trying to give everybody the life lessons. <laughs> I mean, maybe Michael will give us a life lesson of what to do against that. Uh, no, I'm just imagining an ad, ad now where we're like, yeah, but I'm a single dad who, you know, works full time and I don't have time for stuff. Well, Yo this Yo is the app for you. Right? Yoshi he got a bomb. Yoshi was a single parent, man, just carrying Mario across a whole he region. Got, he got a bomb. I like it. Michael kind of. Oh, dude, no! I respect it too because Michael didn't want to land and get hit by the bomb, but in the process of trying to do that, he got hit by the one thing he was trying to avoid. Sometimes, in my opinion, it's better to just go ahead and give your opponent the opp opportunity than start planning for afterwards. But I respect for Michael. Like, obviously, eating 40% was not in this game plan. Well, I, what Solex did was pretty smart. He just waited for uh, Michael to land there. Yeah. And you can bait out Yoshi's double jump at times. Yoshi's landing, like a lot of Yoshi's love to go for landing there because the last hit can sometimes be really hard to understand. Whole people drop shields and lose a little bit too early. Yeah, I mean, really. Oh, I love that from Michael there. Oh, I sorry, uh, Solex there, and he had Yoshi with no options there. It's it's surprisingly hard to get Yoshi there though, because even after his double jump is gone, the eggs are difficult to get around. Yeah. When because, you know, he gets that extra lift from the eggs, so you have to find your way around them. This is, so, the way the pacing for this match kind of goes for is Michael kind of has to understand first, Solex, like, if he's going to whiff punish him, too, because the way that I'm seeing Solex play, right, is he understands when Michael's going to come back on stage. Go for an arrow, because Yoshi's, Yoshi's, people call it mashing in this match community, but I like to call it buttons. Yoshi's buttons are actually very, very strong. They have a lasting hitbox, you kind of have to respect them, but the problem is that Yoshi does commit to those buttons. So if you're if you're a player like Solex, who's looking to whiff punish Michael for his approaches, like so, uh, which he missed the whiff punish, then you can definitely get Yoshi on the back foot. Yeah, Yoshi's drift can be sort of problematic for Peach and Daisy, just because, uh, I mean, Peach and Daisy love to kind of float around. But Yoshi can weave in and out of that space so well. I like how Solix is playing this because he's not really going up in the air and chasing Yoshi around. Yeah, he's kind of playing the ground game because he knows like Yoshi kind of has to do the approaching here. Yoshi also is a character that sometimes struggles to approach. Like I said, he does commit to pressing those buttons. We're like, see that in air? Yoshi does commit to an air and he kind of has to react afterward. If he doesn't space the air properly, he will get punished. There's that man. And finally gets the legs on the second stock here. Michael trying to put, keep it pretty slow. And honestly, that's kind of how it's going. Where, like, Michael doesn't want to overcommit it with punish, but same thing for Solex. He doesn't want to like give Michael the opportunity to still come in with those aerials for free. Yeah, I mean, so yeah, Michael here just, he's decided he's not going to approach. And Solex has decided, okay, I'm just going to pull turnips. Yeah. I mean, you always have that option. Uh, with Daisy and Peach because uh, the turnips are such good uh, tools. Yeah, the best part about them too is like you you do have the RNG factor possibly pulling a turnip or a Saturn 
and for Selects, right? Like, this is a very slow-paced game out of the respect that Mario Kart has to pay against Daisy. Yeah, even if you pull, like, a Dot or a, a Winky Face, it's still a, a really good tool for Daisy, and that threat just makes it so you don't want to sit there and wait for this character to keep playing the slot machine. <laughs> exactly. So, for Selects, he gets one step closer with each general pull, but it's not really aiming for that, obviously. He's just... Pulling out triggers because he knows, like, if Michael is going to come into that hard come up on the skate, he wants to make sure he can cover, like, a jump in with uh, possibly turn up upward, or he can go for, like, a, a turn up combo, things like that. Like, it's really, really good for him to also have a turn up enhanced setup. Like, once again, we, we having these two here kind of float there in the neutral because, like, Michael doesn't want to come into an air or an, or down air and then get whiff punished by Solex. Solex doesn't want to go in because one of the things that Daisy does suffer in is approaching, and she always has to approach with things like Nair or a turn up. To kind of bait up to her opponent to like go for an aerial or jump out. Well, you, uh, Fair is a good, a pretty good tool, but uh, See, it's more but of a spacing tool. Oh, Mike almost got the nair. Okay. Nice, good. If he hop and try to, hey, he kind of crossed him unintentionally here. Okay, yeah. So Solex again just pulls a turn up because he's realizing Michael doesn't want to engage with him. Crossable to the air. With the good use of back air, so long as kind of felt he was oh, free to come back. Low. Yep. Yeah, that, that, when Yoshi goes off there with that fair, that could be so scary because oh, if they make that read. And there was no nair from Solix to contest with Michael's down beat. So that allowed him to pretty much get back. Okay, yeah, Solix in a good spot here. Below him with the turn up. Mm -hmm. But. I mean, we're going down to three minutes into the wire, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so, like, it's it is very much a slow-paced game for that purpose, right? Like, I'm, I am noticing that Michael finally gets it down there and he's able to come in here, but he kind of tries to retake center stage to himself, 130 percent. Yeah, Michael's got a huge hill to climb, and the way Solex has been playing this, just like refusing to fight with him uh, yeah. on oh, his terms. Yeah, what a call. It's, it's, yeah, he refuses to fight Michael on his terms because he knows, like, how much Michael will get for him having all these opportunities. For Solex, he was, his name of the game here is, man, boy, why are you drinking Chick-fil-A? Drink, and he puts, I was going to say that, don't, don't have it near electronics. Please don't. I don't know, man, after having Popeye's chicken sandwich, I will never eat chicken fillets and what ever again. Really, you're that far on board. It's, it's changed my mind. We'll have to continue this discussion at a later date because I know the internet is dying to know that your opinion. At some point, man. You, you can hear my opinion on Twitter. Anyways, let's get into game two here. Uh, Solex pretty much had to play a very slow-paced game with Michael and Michael vice versa. Now, hopefully, the, the heels will be turned up here with a smaller stage like Smashville, so we'll see how things go for him. Even though he goes 67% off the bat, Michael does put Solex a little bit on the back foot. Yeah, and this lead for Michael is huge. He needs to hold on to it as best as he can. Yeah, no panic from Solex. Oh, he tried to get him with a drag down there. Even if it wasn't going to be able to kill him, he would able to be probably low enough that Daisy was going to be able to recover. And that's what he was looking for. Good Nair to shield. He actually waited for the turn up toss too because Solex also, like I mentioned, one of the things that Daisy does suffer is being able to approach and she wanted to really force an approach from Yoshi out of shield. And then Michael just stuffed it out with Nair. Okay, Michael about to lose this lead here. I mean, he's forced Solix to play this a little more aggressively now that he has this lead. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think as long as uh, he can keep, he can hold on to the lead, this is going to be oh, nice. that was nice game to lose. Okay, side B back to stage. Still really close here. Okay, gets the back air. That back arrow of shield from Daisy and Peach are, is such a great option. And what's the landing nair there? He fast fell that, uh, or up air. Yeah, landing up air. So, Solex had a really good game plan last game where he was able to look for what punishes against Michael. But unfortunately, like, he wasn't really spacing it from the wedge. And I feel like he needs to kind of stick to that because that's kind of what allowed the game to be so close last game. I was understanding, like, okay, Yoshi is going to commit to a button here. If I space myself properly, I will get a really t tough time for a counter. I usually tell people counters are more of a understanding that your opponent has no other option. Therefore, this counter will go ahead and make the play, the right play. Just for the covering jump twice in a row there. 
And it works out for him. Maiku. Back it up in the air. Nice. Looks like, oh no. So so Lex was, was like definitely showing his back to Maiko so he could go for a back right or an air also again, but unfortunately he just didn't time properly. So he missed the mark on that one. Michael with pretty solid patience here in the neutral. Like I said, he's also looking for a little punish. This is a game of whiff versus whiff, and who gets it better than the other. So it's also like important to know, like once Michael does get in and come into one of those like aerials and he stops Solex from trying to whiff punish him, it is going to be a lot of damage, which we just kind of saw earlier at the beginning of the game. Yeah, Michael making these reads with the uh, neutral B, he's been seeing Solex just kind of hang out and shield, maybe back off a little bit, and he just hasn't been able to land the egg. Uh, unfortunately for him, because um, I do feel like it, it, it was the answer for him, but now Solex has caught on to that. He just drifts outside of that side beat, uh, outside of the spike there, and then uh, Maiko's still getting the stop though as Solex tried to return to stage. Okay, Solex doing a great job of, of pressuring. Uh, Michael right now though. I mean, he's... So what do you say about counters? <laughs> well, they're really good if you're able to understand your opponent's going to go for the obvious option. Right? Like, if, if you go for a counter, you want to make sure that, okay, my opponent has been going for, you know, an area out of ledge, therefore, if I try to go ahead and call it out with a counter, it'll be the good play. Or if your opponent has, like, a very low recovery with the hitbox, using counter to stuff it out will be really good. But sometimes, like, if you do go for counters, you do commit to the end line that counters do have, which can definitely be, you know, a very, not a very good risk reward because the risk is pretty high and the reward is, you know, only good if your opponent is offstage. Unless you're recording in Smash 4 with the counter was ridiculous. Back air. I, I feel like Michael, yeah, Michael's definitely trying to space it, but unfortunately he gets caught on the lining here. Solix taking this man to a quick 36%. Michael with the up air on Solix's platform. Yeah, that was big for Solix. Yeah. I mean, he's... He had that deficit. And uh, yeah, again, that Yoshi with the lead is, is so scary. Especially, I um, mean, Yoshi just has a lot of kill power in this game. We haven't seen that many up smashes, but... It's a great move from Yoshi. It yeah. can really catch you off guard. And it sometimes you just go over platforms by a, by like a pinch, man. If you're not ready for it, you'll get caught by it. So that's why I tell people like be careful when giving Yoshi's platforms because Yoshi can definitely go for up airs, go for an up smash, things like that. All right. So Alex off stage here. Can Michael get this edge guard? Might be going for a back out of shield or an air. Oh, different, different up air trying to call for a poly for the aerial approach. Once again, man, we're at three minutes in the mark. That's on time, man. It's kind of whiff versus whiff. Our last stock, last hit scenario here. There's an air. Michael might be trying to go for another aerial out it's of the shield. punish. Solix looking to stall the time on the recovery. Grabs the ledge. Michael looking for a possible back air, but he... So ledge he had, off air. No, so he jumped in and he tried to probably go for an empty hop oh. back air, but the counter there, he kind of stops Michael for... He tells Michael, you pay the price for going for 